Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, we will be sharing the messages of our Lord Jesus to Ephod Doc Chris Alar. The Lord has said to us that he would alert us through John's message when it's time to go to the refuge for many. He would let you know through your guardian angel in the form of a small flame of light. He will lead you to the refuge. God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you all, let us pray, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Jesus said, My people, you are very familiar with my healing of the ten lepers. I told them to go show themselves to the priests, and they were cleansed of their leprosy. On the way, one of the ten was a Samaritan, and he came back to me to give me thanks for a healing him. Then I asked, Why did the other nine not come to give me thanks as well? This account is a reminder to give me thanks for all the good things I do for all of you. In other words, do not forget to thank me and other people who help you. In the vision you are seeing, people celebrating a turkey dinner on the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. It is a usual time for a family to come together to give me thanks for all I do for you. Do not forget to pray your grace before that meal. Even if some people are not so religious, let them know the reason for your celebration. I love all of you, and it is good for your family to unite for the holidays. Pray for the conversion of all the souls of your family to be saved by believing in me. Jesus said, My people, you are being controlled by the one world people. These evil ones behind the scenes are manipulating your voting machines, using their money to pay off workers and judges. The evil Democrat leaders will win most elections, just like they do in Venezuela and even in Brazil. Your corporate leaders will help the ruthless Democrats to steal your money with this digital dollar. Your people need to rise up and fight this takeover of your money, or you will lose everything. These evil ones will cancel your accounts, and you will need to come to my refuges for your survival and protection. I will defeat these evil ones and they will all be in hell with my just sentence. Be thankful that you can survive this tribulation with my angel protection and my multiplication of your needs. Friday, November 17th, 2023, Jesus said, My people, in the time of Noah, he built the ark and put the animals and his family aboard. Then the flood came and wiped out all of the evil ones. In the time of Lot, he led his family out of Sodom. And then I brought fire and brimstone down on the Sodomites, and they were destroyed. Do not look at my destruction, as Lot's wife looked back, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. So now, in the age before the tribulation, one will be taken to my refuges, and one will be left behind. I will separate my faithful from the evil ones, and my people will be safe at my refuges. Then I will bring my comet of chastisement down on the earth, 
and all the evil ones will be cast into hell. But my faithful will be shielded from any harm by my angels. Seal your windows with black plastic, so you do not look at any destruction of the evil ones. Then I will renew the earth, and I will bring you into my air of peace. Jesus said, My people, if your power grid went down for a long time, this would affect your lives dramatically. Not too many people would be able to survive for a long time. This is why I have asked you to prepare your refuges with food, water, and fuels. People would be desperate for food and water for basic survival. This is why my angels will protect my faithful at my refuges. My angels will protect you from people who want to steal your supplies. I will multiply your food, water, and fuels so you could have a viable refuge. For those people who are at your refuge, you will need your wooden kerosene to keep your house warm in the winter. You have propane and butane for cooking. Some solar power could give you lights and some power for your microwave oven. Be ready to use your solar power for some electricity to run your appliances. Keeping snow off your panels will supply some electricity in the winter for your water pump. Trust in me and my angels to protect you and feed you. Saturday, November 18th, 2023. Jesus said, My people, this deep dark water well will provide needed water during a coming famine. You will need your three months of food. When your stores will be empty from another shutdown from a pandemic virus, when you see people dying in the streets, I will call my faithful to my refuges where you will look on the luminous cross in the sky that will heal any sickness in the gospel. I gave a story of an old woman begging a judge for her just decision. She had done so for a long time. This is an example of how you need to be persistent in your prayers and I will answer them in my way and in my time. Trust in me that I listen to every prayer out of your mouth. I know your desire even before you voice it in prayer Jesus said, My people, major changes are coming into the church, and they will not be according to the church traditions. If some changes are not proper, you do not have to follow them. I love all of you, but there are liberal people making these changes. If you see a change in the words of consecration, then avoid that mass and come to a traditional mass at my refuges. You are seeing attacks by the devil both inside and outside of my church. Keep praying your rosaries and be ready to come to my refuges at the proper time. That comes the end of today's message, brothers and sisters. Let us always make it our habit to thank the giver of these heavenly messages and in support to help promote the salvation of souls. Let us hit the like button and let us share this message with others. God bless us all for our obedience.